Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about knowledge representation using semantic net. So semantic net is a type of uh, graphical based representation. So it has some nodes and edges. So the relationship between the given uh, sentence is represented in terms of nodes and uh, relationship like uh, nodes and the edges. So it is a graphical based representation and it, it actually represents the hierarchical relationship between all the nodes. So a node is nothing but it might be an object or a concept or an entity. It might be anything and edges is the relationship between the nodes. I will give you an example. So here is an example for uh, a knowledge representation using uh, semantic net. So here you have dog is a mammal. Semantic means a meaningful representation. Okay. And you are going to use a graphical representation for it. A dog is a mammal. Sparrow is a bird. Bird has wings bird can fly so these are all the statements that are given and a uh, first step is to create all the like we have to identify all the objects over here so nodes consist of all the all the objects all the entities so here dog mammal sparrow bird, bird wing and fly these are all your uh, nodes and the relationship is the one that connects these nodes together dog is a mammal so the relationship between dog dog is a node and mammal is a node so this has an easy relationship okay it need not to be a directed edge but the relationship between dog and mammal is a uh, and similarly you can you have this bird and bird has wings and bird can fly so the relationship between the edges right the, this is your uh, edges consist of is a relationship has a relationship on can or it can have okay so this way of representation is called a semantic net representation i'll give you a uh, detailed example for it so consider these statements jack is a cat jack caught a bird jack is owned by roch jack is brown in color cats like milk cat sat on a table cat is a mammal all mammals are animals mammals have fur so these are all the descriptions that we have we can find the relationship over here first okay so is a is a relationship caught a relationship is owned by is brown in color brown is like like sat on the table so these are all your relationship is a all mammals are animals have fur so these are all the relationship between the entities so first i'll start with jack okay so jack is a, a thing that is given over here so jack is a cat so it is an easy relationship jack is a cat okay so what i have taken here is first step done jack is a cat and all a cat is a mammal all the cats are mammal right cat is a mammal so i'm just going to have is a relationship it's mammal and all mammals are animals so all mammals are animals so mammal is a animal and all mammals will have fur so have fur so this is how we represent a network structure all the statements will be taken and we are going to uh, come compare these and write a statement for it okay and uh, what I have cat likes milk and cat uh, jack is owned by Raj okay so it is OW owned by Raj so Raj is an entity it is an object right cat is owned by Raj jack caught a bird and jack is brown in color is brown jack is brown in color and what is left jack a cat sat on the table so cat you can have a representation for sat on the table on the table okay so this way of representing any kind of knowledge is called a semantic net structure semantic means meaningful so we are going to find the meaning of each and every state uh, statements and find the hierarchical pattern between the statements for example cat is a mammal mammal is animal okay so this is the hierarchical pattern parental node will be animal 
from mammal to cat and uh, jack is a specific cat so that uh, this inherits a property of it so this semantic net shows the hierarchical pattern of it and it consists of all nodes and edges nodes are nothing but the objects and entities are the relationship between this object okay this is one way of representing an uh, knowledge representation like when i want to represent something i'll either use rule based structure where we have a proportional logic predicate logic structure for it and this is another way of representation using semantic network structure thank you